Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew, the Legendary Edition of course. We've just updated, well, we've done a critical mission and we've just updated our uh, flak cannon to a Mark III. Look at that thing, it's got three barrels of death and doom and destruction and annihilation and I love it. Anyway, we are uh, kind of broke, so <laughs> we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do the next mission. All right, let's see. Uh, Android Outpost Artifacts. It's a high-risk mission. Ugh. Transport in uh, Engineer to the Orion. Our sister station, the Orion, has come under attack. Okay, that's the same as always. Clear out enemy forces. See, these missions are long. And this one is kind of long, but it gives you a lot more um, research. And just as much money, pretty much. I don't know. Recovery colony supplies. That one's short and sweet. And so you can destroy a, low, a rogue light cruiser. I kind of like that one because it gives you a lot of everything. So we're going to do that. This represents a significant threat to the colony mission. Seek it out and destroy it. All right. We shall destroy it. Okay. Kenshiro. I'm getting that. Plita going there. We're putting stuff into engines. And go right back. And no gravity into shields and launch. Power. Our scanners have detected what appears to be a UDF craft being commanded by a rogue and uh, rogue android android forces in the Alpha Centauri B system. This represents a significant threat to the colony mission. Seek it out and destroy it. We shall do so. Fastest route. Let's also check the map. So one, two. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use uh, performance analysis here. It might not quite be ready by the time we get to the objective, but that's all right. We're gonna take a while to take out all the uh, all the systems of the uh, enemy cruiser. Performance analysis now. And some fighter support. Why not? <laughs> That's always funny to me. Get them. Get closer. Those guys. Oh, look at all the fire going now. Nice. And back on defensive. And there's more of them. No borders yet, which is fine. Oh yeah, let's look at the uh, Mark III. Wait, what? Oh shoot, I forgot Simon there. Oh, my bad. That's why nothing's going on there. Oh, look at that. Does it fire faster than before? I think it does. So I guess it's just a faster fire rate because, well, the barrels can cool down or can get rearmed faster. Well, because there's three of them. I suppose it's like that sort of logic. Uh, how's our performance analysis? Almost gone. That's fine. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, still missing everything with the flak, unfortunately. Wow. There's more stuff coming. Yeah, I, I wonder if that flak exploding there, now now it does damage, so it has to be a lot closer. Nice. Performance analysis is gone now. But that's good, we're already at almost 8000 XP, so that's very, very nice. Or as Borat would say, very nice. Oh, lovely. Look at those hits! Oh, I love it! Those hits from the... From the flak cannon are awesome. So wait a second. How can you actually go to a safe route here? You would have to go all the way back. Wouldn't you? Yeah, Athena Station. Oh, okay. Goodbye! <laughs> and yeah, performance analysis is gonna take a while to actually... Uh, reload. Navigate to ACB belt near side, so you can destroy rogue light cruiser. Yeah, that uh, 
credit and XP reward, well, and uh, research reward is going to be really, really nice. And this was 9,000 XP for the performance analysis. Very, very, very nice. That's one of the most useful skills, I think, you get. Apart from defensive and uh, I would say evasive piloting is also very, very good. Uh, very situational, but very, very good. Almost never use inspirational speech. Uh, focus is also good, but it's not nearly as good, I feel, as um, as it is in Bomber Crew. Whoa, 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 whoa. These, how, how did these guys get so close so quickly? Let's have some of this. Some boost and backup power. 156 weapon effectiveness. I love it. Ah, they're already opening up. Come on. Yep, they're already coming in. And our engines are damaged. There they go. Darn it. Hostiles detected on ship. Come on, get them. Attack! Are you gonna attack, Rob, maybe? There you go. Alright, just go back. You're kind of useless without gravity boots. Boots! Ow, ow, ow. Ouch! Jeez. So, replenish some shields, because that's ouch. And Simon will need to fix that engine. Well, actually, it's not affecting anyone with the radiation just yet, so we'll leave it at that for the moment. Nothing else on the scanners. Oh, frickin' hell. Very nice. There's more of them, though. They don't let up, do they? Oh, Rob is now getting hit. I think that's actually increasing. All right. Go and repair that. Simon, there's more. And of course it's on that side. Defensive, please. We weren't on defensive. I'm slipping. Hopefully Simon is not. But yeah, I feel like uh, focus fire was a lot more pronounced in a way in um, Bomber Crew. Because it was really important that you, that you got the enemies when they were coming towards you. Uh, and you and you destroy them quickly, because here, like I said, uh, you know, health of the crew rarely, rarely ever gets damaged, because you've got shields, and then you've got armor. In Bomber Crew, obviously, you only had armor, and even if you had armor, uh, enemy bullets could still damage your guys, sometimes. Uh, so it's a lot more dangerous and thus a lot more important that you destroyed enemy fighters as quickly as possible and that was of course best done with focus and they were coming look at that where they were coming uh right at you what is that like an anomaly or is it i guess it just looks like that i thought it was like a hidden space station or something there's the target ship engage and neutralize it wait a second so we're actually fighting another light cruiser that's cool humans detected initiate prime directive exterminate holy moly we are just uh yeah i think we're kind of completely freaking annihilating them i think everyone else is gonna run away when this happens because uh yeah they're almost destroyed already. And that's it. Oh, wreckage. Scannable. They're not running away, though, which is good. Because I want that performance analysis to go. That was insane. We'll be a sitting duck here, of course. Which might not be the best idea. Excellent work. Now scan the wreckage so we can determine its origin. Come on. Come on, ow, 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 ow. Our evasiveness is zero. Ow, 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 ow. Oof. As I suspected, this was the light cruiser that Captain Talos and his crew disappeared with. Mission complete. Return to base. That was nice. Very nice. We still have a bit of performance analysis. I don't know if we actually got any XP for destroying the enemy cruiser, but there you go. We've already we're already at twenty-one thousand XP. Very nice, twenty-two thousand. 
Last one. All right, where's the fastest route? Oh, those, those flak cannons. I love it. I wish I had flak stuff in Bomber Crew. That would be very nice. Was he trying to run away, or was that just me? Hmm. Very interesting. All right. That's now cancelled. Just in time. Overdrive. 78% accuracy. 82% accuracy. Holy moly. Very nice. No weapon stalled. All right. Charge. Charging for hyper jump. Power diverted to engines. Whoosh. Alpha Centauri B Poseidon. Increased enemy activity. That's what we like to see, but unfortunately our uh, performance analysis is not ready, so... Cannot do anything about it. I'm gonna call that wreckage down there. Kinda reminds me of X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. Well, and X-Wing and TIE Fighter. Man, I loved those games when I was a kid. So good. It really gave you a good sort of uh, atmosphere of actually being in, in a Star Wars fight. Especially when there were big Star Destroyers nearby firing at you and, and there were there were TIE fighters everywhere and well everything else. Holy moly. Let's have some fighter support and some focus fire right here. There's more. I have to tag. But yeah. I haven't played the latest sort of X-Wing game. I can't remember what they called it. Because I never could get a straight answer from people when I asked them uh, whether it was a proper simulator in the terms of X-Wing and TIE Fighter. As in, you know, if it was dumbed down. Because it certainly looked like it was dumbed down. Uh, because, you know, it's PvP and they wanted to make it fair. So TIE Fighters suddenly got... They don't. They still don't have shields like they shouldn't, but they suddenly have a load of um, health, you know, hold. Because in the for anyone that hasn't played the originals, X-wing or Tie Fighter or anything, even in Tie Fighter when you were piloting the Tie Fighters, they were very, in a way, good. Uh, they were quick, and difficult to hit, but you could realistically take about two hits, two laser hits. That was all. And the, th the third one would, would destroy you. Or if you were unlucky, uh, the first one would destroy you. So they were very extremely brittle things. Uh, but whenever I wanted to, do, to ask someone that has played the newest game, I, you know, I always... People always said, oh, well, uh, you're a snob. You just want things to be like they were in the old days or whatever, you know. It's like nobody could give me a concrete answer. And then people just said, I don't know, like... Oh, play the game, you'll see it's good. That's not what I asked. What I asked was whether there are proper, uh, you know, simulations in there. Do you still have to do all the shields and the lasers and everything? Um, why do TIE Fighters have so much hull? Um, you know, are there ion cannons? Are there various warheads available? Um, are there space bombs? Are there, you know, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Is it all just show or is it also go i want to know but oh well i'm not too bothered about it but you know i would love a really proper wait a second is this the last part yes so we can just ask for some uh cruiser support here but i would love a proper modern x-wing versus tie fighter not dumbed down. I want all of those systems in. I want tractor beams. I want jammers. I want various warheads. I want torpedoes and missiles and advanced missiles and rockets and uh, bombs. I want TIE defenders. I know they're overpowered, but I want TIE defenders and um, uh, interceptors and advanced. And I want the gunboats. I want X wings, Y wings, B wings. Uh, Z-Wings, I want, I don't know, what else? I want all the capital ships. Man, just listen to me, I'm like an old man ranting. Well, which is what essentially it is, but there you go. 
No perform oh, yeah, performance analysis is there, so I might as well use it. <clears throat> but yeah, that'd be great. More enemies anywhere? No. Oh. Look at that. Look at that saucer. Boom! Very nice. Nice! Holy moly! Annihilated! Absolutely annihilated. Love it. Alright. Destroy rogue UDF craft. Return to base. Charge. Charging for hyper jump. Power diverted to engines. Wobble. Alrighty. Hello, Athena Station. I wonder what we're, what we're gonna get. We got 35,000 XP. That's pretty darn good. Alright. <clears throat> Look at all that armor everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Arr, Captain Talos, arr, yar is angry. Alright, Light Cruiser destroyed 6,000 credits and 2,500 XP. Nothing for scanning it? Oh. Ah, we're gonna level up now. Look at that, nice. And that level 12 is the maximum, so there you go. Auto attack fighters, it's quite nice. Shield backup power is, yeah, reasonably nice. Weapon boost 2, very nice. A greatly increases weapon damage for a short duration. Provides an extra unit of power to the shields. This allows them to be powered without power from the reactor. I don't really know how that works. I guess the security officer just sort of starts pedaling or something. Uh, a backup generator. <laughs> no new stuff, though. I I have a feeling this is, uh, this is it. We're not getting any new things anymore. So, Heavy Laser Mark II and Mark III... <laughs> <sighs> Flat cannon, so we need something... Yeah, we need to stay with a heavy laser, because we need energy. Um, look at that thing. That is giant. Uh, so where is the heavy laser? There, Mark three. Very expensive, jeez. Very expensive, but very nice at the same time. Well, let's look at the difference. This is Mark II. And this is Mark II. Oh, it's a little tiny thing. And then you've got the Mark II laser. I love it. Love it. Yeah. Alright, armor. Mark V. We could go for Mark VI here, but, you know, it's just a little bit of an increase for quite a lot of money. I think I want to start saving money for maybe some escape pods, just in case we do need them. I could buy them, they're not that expensive, the the most uh, basic ones, but I also do want that away team gear, hmm, yeah, base rifle is fine here, base rifle extinguisher, that's fine, yeah, that's pretty good, and then the space suits just in case, alright, crew gear. Let's just check that. If we want anything else. I don't think we're getting anything else. I think that was it. What we've seen, we've seen. Um, personal cloak. That's fine. Wait, favorite food? Eggs. Bartending. McClang was doing painting from Mumbai. Interest travel? Hobby crosswords. Um, yeah. Courier delivery. Interest literature. Hmm. Rob. Occupation. Asteroid mining. Favorite color. Gray. What is that? Level 2 battle helmet. Ninja. Ultra helmet. That's so much better. All around. All around. Delta tree. I'm going to leave it as it is. I mean, these guys don't really need to move, but there you go. Can splurge a little bit. And suit. Yeah, that's a lot of armor, actually. 50. That's nice. Anyway, 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.